Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. This game just feels like a mess right now, especially the market with EA Sports messing up that hero pack in the store yesterday. That huge mistake, whether, whether it was meant to be there or whether it wasn't meant to be there. We don't know because they haven't addressed the issue yet. As I'm recording this video and as we head into Sunday, we have no answer from EA Sports yet on that issue. I spoke extensively about that in the upload yesterday. I'll link that up here at the top if you have not heard about that or want to listen to those thoughts from earlier. But as of right now, really not much has changed. But what I'm starting to think about is how is the market going to be affected by everything that happened yesterday, today on Sunday, and of course, we are still awaiting multiple forms of compensation, compensation that we've known about for like five days, six days now. We have had SBCs that have needed compensation because they were incorrectly labeled as um, tradable, but they gave out untradable rewards. So we are now waiting for compensation in that sense, and we still haven't had it yet. It's been six days. It's probably around the time frame where EA would give us back those packs. I think that could impact the market today. If EA decided to get their stuff together and finally give us some sort of answers and communication, That'd be very nice. So I think right now everybody's just waiting for EA to tweet. But I want to talk about the mini release. We have four new Road to Knockout cards coming into packs today. A couple of them are looking pretty saucy. Um, they actually EA posted them on Friday accidentally, and I couldn't find a screenshot for them. But we do know the players that are dropping today. And, you know, Sundays are always really interesting days on the market because some Sundays... They dropped some pretty big packs. They've dropped Icon SBCs before on Sundays, Icon Upgrade packs. We do have an Icon Upgrade that's in the code. Imagine we have one day of like hero pack nonsense, and the next day we have like crazy Icon pack craziness. If that happens today, this market will be dead. So I'm not thinking that's going to happen, but we'll talk about that stuff again because I think today's content, we've had good content the first two days this promo. We'll see if it happens again for a third time today on Sunday. There's a lot to talk about, so drop a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new. Let's get into it just by quickly mentioning any sort of little update that we have, which there really is not any. Um, but I want to talk about compensation for a second and just this whole EA Direct account. Like, we need a tweet from them, man. We need a tweet. It's been like 12 hours now since the content dropped. When you see this video, at least it's been 12 hours. And as of right now, we have no tweets. And I mean, it's just, it's, it's, I know it's the weekend and I know that they're really going to have to choose their words carefully here because everybody is going to be on them. Everybody wants to know because this is such a huge, huge, huge mistake. They have to get it right and they have to do things right and, and get it right the first time because they've been making so many mistakes. Um, I mean, like I said, we're still awaiting multiple forms of compensation. Uh, people were getting gold cards out of their ones to watch pre-order pack. They talked about that. They're going to be in, you know, following up with those players. Of course, they're following up with people that got the wrong versions. They got gold cards at a foot champs rewards. And the biggest one, in my opinion, is this one. This is from October 3rd. They tweeted this, man. That was six days ago. The Holland Transfer SBC and Newcomers SBC were untradeable, but were not previously labeled as such. And they're giving out tradable versions of those packs. We have not seen those packs yet. They have not said that they've given them out. And I do not believe they have been given out. So we are just all now waiting for EA Sports to actually send out a tweet and talk about what are they going to do with this whole situation. Now, let's talk about this hero pack just quickly once again. Some of the hero prices, when I was recording the video yesterday, uh, I think you guys maybe remember I was looking at Volaire, right? And Volaire was almost back up to 700,000 coins. Well, now Volaire is back down to like 620K. So you had people go out and kind of buy back those heroes because it was like, man, these heroes are on sale right now, right? They are crazy on sale and their prices dropped down super low. A lot of the cards kind of went up for a little bit and now they're back down again. I think heroes with more supply, they're still going to be decent to trade with. But right now, again, if EA come out today and say that they're going to release a untradeable hero pack as compensation or like, I don't want to buy into heroes or mess with them at all because I could see some potential panic happening after that if EA is going to give out another hero pack, even if it's untradeable, which seems dumb, but believe me, it, it could happen because EA mislabeled that pack in the store. And also some interesting news that I wish I would have seen earlier uh, yesterday, uh, a tweet here from, you know, a screenshot from somebody who is obviously using a different language than English. Uh, and I heard that in multiple different languages, the description of the pack in the store was completely different, but it was giving out the same cards for everybody, right? The Spanish version said that this was going to be a 25k coin hero pack that was supposed to be a 
lone icon, lone road to the knockout, and then five golds, 382 plus, which if we go back and dig up the receipts was exactly the same pack that was added to the code a couple of days ago called the road to the knockout foundations pack five gold players 382 plus loan base icon loan road to the knockout player on a seven game loan that was a description in spanish and also in arabic i believe as this guy says uh and in danish as well so it's like ea messed up the description and maybe all of the tweets that we saw with new pack code over the past couple of days like, I think EA kind of overlooked something and messed something up, and now all of a sudden they had a pack that was named something different than what it was actually coded to drop on the game. So, absolutely crazy. Again, we're still waiting some clearance on the situation, but here's, here's what we know. Here, here's the fact, right? People lost coins yesterday, and people are upset about it. People are upset. I mean, I was reading some of your guys' comments on last night's video or on yesterday's video um, and how you were feeling about the market right now and whether you missed the opportunity to open that pack in the store or whether you didn't miss it a lot of people are just upset and because here here's the bottom line is people that had cards in their team a lot of prices they got destroyed right a lot of prices went down so bad now some of them have rebounded back up but like other of these guys like i look at kareem benzema who's under ninety thousand coins 87k for benzema like that's down a considerable amount you know you're losing a decent amount of coins on that you're losing coins on other gold cards you know like ronaldo lower tier cards got dropped even more of course the heroes are down bad so i, th I just think that people are not happy right now because a lot of people lost coins on their team and players that they were not expecting to lose coins on and they feel blindsided and a hundred percent that is a very valid way to feel is that ea did this whole huge mistake yesterday and they blindsided a lot of people on this game so it's absolutely fine to be a little upset and even some people even expressed in the comments on that video earlier that they're like thinking about leaving the game man and it's frustrating i completely get it especially when you're not expecting change like that to happen but um yeah it's just kind of wild and you know there's really i don't think ea is going to be able to compensate those of us that had tradable cards in our team and are now losing coins because of that or feel like we were blindsided and, and and it sucks right like there's no way that ea can really compensate us for that that's just kind of a byproduct of their mistake that we have to suffer for which is the worst part about all of this to be completely honest um the really only thing i expect ea to do is uh, give out a pack because the pack that they advertised in the store was not the one that was supposed to be there in my opinion because you had different um, you know different uh, was descriptions for different packs in different languages I, again it's a whole mess so we're just kind of now spinning our wheels until EA actually tweets something out I got the popcorn ready I'm just waiting I know a lot of you guys are as well but you know in, in one aspect too you could say Nate it's gonna impact the market yes it could I think that also a lot of the market on its own with um you know with this whole thing going on right now it's just kind of just down right because a lot of people are maybe selling some of their cards after they finish their weekend league and of course they're worried about what's going to happen with the decision of this um today on sunday i think it's going to be a pretty interesting day because you do have some early squad battle rewards which is going to bring some supply to the market but like i said in the beginning the biggest thing for me right now is the compensation aspect which we talked about compensation like usually it does take a few days but I mean, it's been a while, EA Sports. Like it's been, again, six days since you tweeted out that you were going to give compensation and we still have not seen those packs gifted back yet. And, and now we're just kind of sitting here waiting and, and waiting for that to happen. And that could drop at any moment. And I do think that when they drop those packs, because they are tradable, that Holland SBC is the one that I'm really thinking back to. I, I do believe that you will see some market impact. You will see a little bit of panic selling and you will see a little bit of supply. So that's why I'm trying to be really, really careful with some of these cards. Um, if I'm trading with any of the, oh, this guy is going up. Konate 220. Okay, I bought one of those at like 200 uh, thousand coins that's nice to see um, but if i'm trading with any of these road to the knockouts or if i'm honestly trading with anything right now in this game i'm making sure that it is it is a pretty rare card um, and that it shouldn't be affected too much by you know a a mediocre pack being compensated so that's the biggest question mark on the market right now and could that make the drop market drop even more you know i honestly think that it could i mean especially if you, you think about we're kind of ending the weekend league time frame and, you know, there's another aspect of this, too, that EA is really starting to drop some solid content, some really, really solid content. I mean, yesterday, again, like I said, an overlooked Dan Juma SBC, 
51,000 coins for this Danjuma card. 94% uh, upvote on Footbin. This guy's really, really good, man. Striker position change, left mid, left wing, four star, four star. Um, I do not, can, hey, wait, hold up. He is explosive. He is not lengthy, but he's explosive. And I think this is a card that a lot of people are doing based on the price and the upvotes that you see here. And what I'm starting to think is, like I said in yesterday's video too, I really feel like EA is turning the page here and we are turning from the market just going up, 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 up. EA is putting out really great SBC content. Think about Gakpo, think about Danjuma, think about Sterling. We had some really good player SBCs recently. That's gonna start draining coins off of the game. And like I mentioned before, and we've seen the pack codes, right? The team of the week player pack, which Foot Sheriff said was gonna be coming into the game soon. Uh, again, the hero pack and the base icon pack are both added to the code. So you would imagine that those could potentially come as SPCs or maybe in the store again, who really knows? But you know, that sort of content, if it's added, is on on deck basically if you think about it and it just seems like ea is ramping up the spc content which is going to drain coins from the market make a lot of these prices fall even further when that content comes out and i think it's going to make spc fodder start to come alive a little bit more that's why in yesterday's video too and even today i'll say it again i think fodder is a really good buy really the 83s and the 84s the 85s are maybe up a little bit let's look at the index i think 85s are under 6k yeah, last night they were really, really low. They got bought up a bit uh, and they went down a little bit as well. With squad battle rewards today, people are grinding the game in the early stages. So you have people getting their weekend league rewards as well. I do think that fodder could be a good look as we head into this next week. Because again, if EA do drop any of these as, as SBCs, even if they drop a team of the week upgrade pack, think about the guys that would be trying to go out and snag a Holland uh, snag a Rafael Leao, snag a Ben Yedder, especially if that SBC is only like an 83 rated squad. I do think that you could potentially see some 83s and some 84s go up a little bit in price. So again, I'm really starting to stress the SBC fodder side of things because we are getting into that point of the year where the content starts to roll out and the SBCs are more prominent and EA knows that people have more coins to mess around with some of that stuff. So again, as we have more of that happen, and as the, if the content's really, really good and it continues to be good value, like this Danjuma, like this Sterling, you're gonna see the market continue to dip off a little bit, right? What did we talk about earlier in the week? Last year when they dropped um, the Bernardo Silva and the Fakir, last year during Road to the Knockouts, the market died because the content was incredible and prices just dropped everywhere because there was a lot of supply and a lot of people were turning to untradeable cards from SBCs, putting them in their team, because they were the most hyped cards at the moment. And instead of, you know, using cards like maybe an Usman or Antony or Hyunmin Sun, as a lot of these gold cards just kind of continue to slide down in price from their peaks earlier in the last week, uh, like that last Wednesday date that we talked about um, what's kind of the peak. So that's kind of how I'm feeling for the market. But I will say, I do believe there's going to be some good opportunity to make coins. I'm not saying that this market is just like, it's going to nosedive and it's going to go to zero, right? I mean, you still have a Vinny Jr. card that is holding price around 220K. A lot of people um, are still trying to buy this type of card for their team and they're still upgrading and stuff like that. You just kind of have to be careful with a few cards in a few places that maybe are still a little bit overvalued because they're a little bit lower rated and people are going to be upgrading past them pretty soon. They're going to continue to get packed. And you know, one guy that I'm a little bit worried about today is maybe gold Kyle Walker. Uh, thinking about the today's Sunday content, Kyle Walker's price is up a lot, 140,000 coins. And the reason why he is up a lot is because he's the best right back in the Premier League. But today on Sunday, that changes. I mean, he still could be the best with the pace that he has, but he's got competition because in the mini release that we are getting today, we have the players, we know the confirmed players based off of the leaks, and actually EA had these posted on the website. I couldn't find a screenshot of that, but this is the next best thing that I could find. These are all the players here. We're getting four new ones in packs today. Bremer and Schick. Bremer looks really good. Patrick Schick might be halfway decent with a lengthy meta. Who knows? But Juan Basaka and Lukas Paqueta are probably two of the three most hyped players dropping today. They should be a little bit lower rated. I don't know if these stats are exactly correct or not. But um, Juan Basaka today, if he does have, I think on the card that I saw on uh, the Road to Knockouts page, on Friday, they had this page showing every single card, including the mini release. They, they messed up with that. Um, and now these cards are not showing. The mini releases are not on here yet. But I'm pretty sure Juan Basaka had 87 pace. So, of course, that could mean that there's another pretty pacey right back 
in the Premier League. Of course, it's a live and upgrading item. Would it end up being more coins than Kyle Walker? Potentially, um, because you would expect Manchester United to do at least decent in the Europa League. But, of course, uh, there's, there's uh, you know, it's a big unknown because it would be a mini release card that's a little bit lower rated. So it should get packed a bit more, but also it's a promo card, so it's going to be more rare. I just think that another option as a Prem right back with pace could hurt this Kyle Walker card a little bit. So I would say just keep an eye on this. And 140,000 coins for an 85 rated card, there's not very many 85 rated that are this expensive still in the game. Uh, this price is not going to last forever. Uh, again, as we get more promo cards that are released, this guy is going to continue to drop off in price. So if you had a Kyle Walker in your team, uh, again, he's not down as much as to what the rest of the market is. Yeah, in the panic yesterday, he went down to 130, but went right back up to 150. This guy is just in so much demand because of how uh, you know scarce the Prem right back with pace uh, position is on this game. So that's what I would say about that. But you know, today, the mini release, not too terrible. These cards, mini release cards end up being a little bit more rare. We like that. So rarity is really nice. This Bremer card, I think, will be one a lot of people like to use. Of course, Paqueta's got five-star skills and Wambasaka with a little bit of pace will be really interesting today as well. What else could we have today Sunday content-wise? I mentioned the very, very slight probability of like an upgrade pack uh, for maybe a Team League upgrade. It feels a little early for that, but a Team League upgrade pack or potentially the uh like a hero upgrade which i don't think that's gonna drop after yesterday an icon sbc i think there's like maybe like a one percent chance of an icon sbc but probably not a very high percentage chance of that either i could see one of those you know like just cheeky pack sbcs that they do last week on sunday we had one you know the newcomers challenge was here last week we had the hollands transfer right and that's the sbc that we're supposed to be getting compensated for here pretty soon uh, i think we could see another one of those today on Sunday, but it might be a decently quiet day. I think they're going to try to focus a lot of the hype on the cards and packs, but we'll just have to see. Um, and yeah, the, also what I'll say about the market today is keep an eye on some of these prices as we head downwards into the evening. Uh, I do think that prices could end up going downwards a little bit on the impacts promo cards, uh, because this is something that you see on Sunday nights. You see a lot of people sell off cards because their weekend leagues are finishing. Their weekend leagues are kind of getting over. And you see a little bit of kind of like sell-off. The weekend league sell-off is what it's often called. Um, and you might see a few of these promo cards after rising up a little bit today in the morning on um, on Sunday today. I do think there's potential for them to drop down on Monday night and actually be buyable in a sense. Um, you know, maybe you're going to buy one of these cards and hope that their team could play pretty well during the next couple days and as we have match day four coming up this week for Champions League games that's absolutely something you could be looking into and eyeing for some of these cards depending on their position and where they're at in their group and what a win this week could mean for maybe a guy like a Lamar fourth in their group right now or you know even a Foden or Valverde winning one more game would basically lock in a plus one upgrade the first of two upgrades for all those guys um, if because they've, they've won like four games or three games already and another win would get them to their fourth so that's the sort of thing you could watch out for with these to the knockout cards i wouldn't still hold on to these super long though um again we know that a rule breakers promo is upcoming these are very nice live and upgrading cards which is a w in terms of an out of packs investment but i still think that with everything that's going on in this game right now if we were to get a big sbc like an upgrade pack later on this week i would not be looking to invest in these cards for a team or for an investment for a longer term hold yet i think we're gonna wait till later on in this week and I guess reduce our risk, you could say. Um, I'd rather buy a card like a bombing if he ends up going from like 530 to like 570 by the time we get to Thursday. Um, I would still maybe you have a Chelsea win happen by then or something like that. And that's why his card price has gone up a little bit. But you know, I would rather look into a card then and have a lot less risk and pay maybe a couple thousand coins more uh, rather than take a bigger risk right now and you know, and you know have the potential for that car to drop down a lot more. So we'll just have to see what happens today on Sunday content wise, but I would expect to see some low prices late Sunday. And then, you know, Monday mornings usually do bring a decent market rise. One thing I want to talk about too is the team of the week. I'm looking at this Rafael Leal card. Like, man, this card for 75,000 coins, it seems really, really cheap. Now I've told myself, and we've talked about it in the streams a little bit too, this team of the week is the first one that has crazy amounts of supply. 
uh, crazy amounts of supply from the saved for the team of the week packs from weekend league. There weren't that many saved up packs, but a few for this promo. Uh, but like this guy, I remember selling him at like 190k. He was extinct at 300,000 coins the first couple days that he was in packs. Um, I'm just worried about the supply on this team of the week, especially with upcoming compensation that's still out there too. You know, I was thinking about club stocking up maybe one or two of these cards, and besides like the fodder cards in team of the week. I don't know if I'm going to invest in team of the week this week. I mean, maybe you stock a Madison, a DeMarcos. Yeah, Werner at 22K seems dirt cheap. Milinkovic at 24 seems dirt cheap as well. Outside of maybe putting one or two of these informs in the club, just from like the, the, the aspect of they're super duper cheap, I'm not expecting really big rises on these cards. And, you know, even with team of the week too, you saw some okay rises on a few of these guys. Like Salah went up a lot. Oh, he's back down again. Um, Modric is back down again. Marquinhos is back down. So a lot of these guys, their rises, they go up a little bit. And then they end up dropping back down as more and better cards come out. So I'm going to keep it simple and keep it safe with the team of the week this week. And probably not mess with them uh, too much just for maybe a card here or there for a slight rise out of packs or maybe just, you know, stocking a, a smalling in the club for an SBC later on down the year or a Cezinha five-star, five-star super sub, that sort of thing. So that's kind of what I would do with the team of the week. Also watch ones to watches today because we got more guys in action. Uh, Jesus Lewandowski in action today. Um, Anthony, actually, no, United, I think United's game got like postponed or something maybe. Is that true? Let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, no, it's going on. I, was, I must have been looking at something incorrectly. So, yeah, Everton and Man you were playing today, so they're not postponed. But watch these OTWs that have games. Of course, a couple of teams kind of choked yesterday, uh, especially Bayern and PSG. Renato was 360, went to 290, kind of bounced back and was down right where he is now, like 300,000 coins. Mane's once to watch card went down bad as well. He was like 500,000 coins flat after he dropped over 100K with the panic on the market yesterday. And of course, them not winning. So he's still only on a one win uh, one win on his counter basically to the, towards that wins to watch upgrade. So keep an eye on those ones to watch cards today because a few of them will continue to move. I picked up a few cards tonight. Um, I got a Konate at 2 oh no, I missed that one. I got a Konate at 204 so on my transfer list. I got an Obami at 527 and a couple Thomas Mullers at 50k just because those did really, really well for me from Friday night into Saturday. I did make a decent amount of coins yesterday. Um, over 150, basically you add in these last couple cards that I didn't post on Twitter yesterday morning. Um, I probably ended up making around 200 K in total, um, before all the craziness happened. And then I wasn't even really on the game after that yesterday. And I wasn't on the market trading that much. So again, if you want to check out that video, we talked about all the madness from that hero pack yesterday. We dove into the great detail on that. I'll put that link in the description once again, but that's kind of what I'm thinking for today on Sunday mini release. And we're just waiting for EA sports to give us a tweet and tell us what in the world they're gonna do about this crazy situation. So if you enjoyed the video today, smash a thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate's Foot Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.